YouTube, you've just tuned in and clicked on a video that's gonna change your life forever. We're about to see for who in early 2022 is chat's favorite idol hero. These folks up here are gonna vote for their champion, the people's champion of idol heroes. All afternoon, We've been running a contest, having different heroes face off against each other. We've had some crazy matchups, like Morax losing to Ada, Penny losing to Ada, sorry, Penny beating Ada, actually, and then going on to have some even crazier fights. Daz Moog head-to-head -head with Dantalion, Daz Moog winning it, Jara versus Penny, Penny pushing ahead, and some nutty ones like Amon Ra versus Eos. Ithaca versus Sigmund, Carrie versus Fiona, and all of this has come down to bring us a crazy standing for the top 16 who will be facing it down, and there will only be one winner. Faithblade beat out Waldeck, lost to Horus, and there's going to be some crazy stuff. In fact, look, Delacium against Russell. Sherlock then beat Delacium. It's, it's too good. There's so much stuff, chat. So let's get it rolling with round one, which is going to be Heart Watcher versus Daz Moog. So here we go, chat. The votes are up. Who are you going to go for? Cast one in chat for Heart Watcher, two in chat for Daz Moog. Let's do this. What do you want? Heart Watcher or Daz Moog? This is our first round of the top 16. This is a close one. We have to run this for 30 seconds. I think it's going to be a win for the Broken Spaces Goddess herself. Heart Watcher takes the green. And there we are. It's a double U for Heart Watcher, which brings us to the next round. It's going to be a Penny versus an Ignis. Get ready, chat. I want ones in chat for Penny. Two's in chat for Ignis. Here we go. Who are you going for? Penny or Ignis? Who is the hero you are choosing today? Which one would you rather have on your account or which one do you think's the coolest? The great thing is we haven't even agreed on a metric we're measuring this from. It is just chat decides. It is that simple. Democracy without foundation. The best kind of democracy in my opinion. The wildest kind, and this is so close, this is currently 28 to 26, 28 neck and neck, Penny to Ignis, everybody get your votes in here, holy cow, there's one vote that'll split it, I'm waiting for it, and there it is, 29 is gonna put Ignis one point behind Penny, wow, Penny takes the win, that was a really close fight chat, if you didn't vote, you better kick yourself. If you didn't tune into this, why you're not watching over at twitch.tv forward slash mkxjump? And if you're disappointed with the result of the last one, well, you can change things now with the next one. This is going to be Tix facing Amon Ra. Put a one in chat for Tix or a two in chat for Amon Ra. I think this is a wildly close one. I have no idea who would take it here because different heroes have different strengths and Tix and Amon Ra are wildly contrasting. So who are you going to choose? Tix? Or Amon Ra. You got 15 seconds to decide, chat, before I end the poll. This is close. It's 20 for Tix, 27 for Amon Ra right now. Tix pushing ahead. You got until we get to 30 seconds. Here it is. And that's the one with three votes ahead. Amon Ra takes the win, knocking Tix out of the competition, which means we move now to another tight fight. This one is going to be very interesting. Two heroes I love, and also that came out within the same few months of each other. It's Ithaca versus Carry. One inducing rage in you in PvP if you were around in 2020. The other one took a while to be discovered to be good, but no doubt broke the game against Broken Spaces. So here we go. It's going to be Carrie versus Ithaca. Which one are you going for? One for Carrie, two for Ithaca. Who are you going for? One for Carrie, two for Ithaca. Which are you going for, chat? I want to see it. Vote, vote, vote. Who do you like more? Who do you want to see? This is nutty. Ithaca pushing ahead. 
Ho, 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 ho. A lot of carry haters in chat. I love to see it. Ithaqua pushes carry out of the competition. And there you go. That is a win for Team Ithaqua. Next, we have a bizarre matchup. I don't quite know how it happened, but the seedings brought it to us. We have Valkyrie versus Scary. I want a one in chat for Valkyrie, a two in chat for Scary, and we will see who's actually going to make it through to the top eight. Easily pushing ahead here, we have Valkyrie. Still 10 seconds for you guys to cast your vote, but I think it's not going to matter. Unless there's suddenly a scary fan club in chat, which I don't think there is. I don't even think Barry Gaming would have voted scary over Valkyrie. And there you go. Valkyrie takes the win, which brings us to our next fight. It is the old versus the kind of new, but not quite. Horus versus Sherlock? Now, this is an interesting one because I know chat might be decided here. Because a lot of people have fond memories with Horus. Others despise Sherlock. Some think Sherlock's amazing. So put a one in chat for Horus or a two in chat for Sherlock. It's your choice. Cast the vote. Let's have a look. Here we go. Sherlock pushing ahead. Horus getting pushed down. This is interesting. Whoever wins this one has to go head to head with Valkyrie. That's a pretty tough matchup. A lot of people have fond memories of Valkyrie being the most powerful hero in the game. And looking at that chat, it's going to be a win for Sherlock. If anyone's going to take Valkyrie down, it could be the Magic Man himself. Which brings us to our penultimate one for the top 16. The fight a lot of people have been looking forward to. It's not quite Rogan versus Drake, but it is Eloise versus the Lord Bade. Now, before we send this one in, let me draw your attention to these fights here. It's going to be Eloise versus Bade. And whoever wins that has to take down the winner of Rogan versus Drake. Which means only one out of Eloise, Bade, Rogan, and Drake are actually going to have a chance of making it to the finals. And that is crazy. So chat, here we go. Let's bring him in. Everyone's favorite or the meme king himself. It's Eloise versus Bade. I want to see ones for Eloise. Or twos for the Lord Bade. Are you doing it today for Cheryl? Or are you doing it for the Twin Sights? Let's see which hero is the one you want. No frigging way is this happening. Bade is neck and neck with Eloise. He's ahead by a single point. I'm going to have to cut this at 30 seconds. This is wild. It's so close. 32 to 31. Lord Bade falls. And Eloise just about claws it into the quarterfinals. So the final one of the top 16 is going to be the most intense matchup of the bracket it is rogan versus drake i have no idea where i'd go on this one so i'm saying nothing but put one for rogan two for drake let's see it here we go it's gonna be a close one where do you cast your vote this is a thinker so take your time but you've only got 30 seconds oh Wow. Look at that chat. It might just be an elimination for Rogan. There you go. Drake takes the win. Bet you didn't see that one coming, folks. Which means he goes on to play Eloise in the quarterfinals. So back to the top we go. And let's run the quarterfinal matchups and remind ourselves who is still in the fight. We have Heart Watcher against Penny. We have Amon Ra against Ithaqua. We have Valkyrie facing Sherlock. And of course, the last one of the quarters, it's going to be Eloise facing Drake. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's begin with this. Heart Watcher versus 
of Penny. One for Heart Watcher, two for Penny. Cast your votes. So far, this is a close one. It's neck and neck for Heart Watcher and Penny with 15 seconds remaining on the clock. Penny's pushing ahead. If you want Heart Watcher to make it through to the semifinals, you're going to have to vote for her now because you're losing your chance. It's coming. 30 seconds. Hits now. And Penny eliminates Heart Watcher from the competition, making it through to the semis. Next up, we have Amon Ra versus Ithaqua. Another really tight fight. They're getting harder and harder every single time. So here we go. One's for Amon Ra, two for Ithaqua. Vote away. It is a tough one. A really tough one. I have no idea where I'd go with this. I love them both for completely different reasons. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Ithaqua eliminating Amon Ra from the competition. Wild. Next, we have another dark. No, we don't, actually. Where the heck's Carrie? Did Carrie go? Who eliminated Carrie? Wait a minute. It was Ithaqua. Oh, that means... Is there only one dark left in the competition? It's Drake? No way. That means now we've got Valkyrie versus Sherlock then. So chat, cast your votes now. Last time we did this, I had to remove light and darks from the competition because I thought they'd whitewash it. But it seems that is a dumb way to think because only one dark is actually still left and I don't think any light heroes remain. So put a one for Valkyrie or a two for Sherlock. Which do you stand? Let's see who chat prefers. Now, I don't know whether I'd just go with Valkyrie because I'd have fond memories, or whether I'd choose Sherlock because he's objectively better. Either way, this is a tight one. Potentially could have people divided, but it seems the more people think about it, the more people go for Sherlock. Which means, I think we're saying goodbye to Valkyrie, and hello to Sherlock in the semi-finals. There you go. And shout-out goes to Case... Thank you for the tier one gifted to Carla. Much appreciated. Sherlock, welcome to the semis. And now, for one of the toughest matchups, if not the toughest matchup of the entire competition. Eloise versus Drake. Put a one for Eloise or a two for Drake. Bring it. Let's see it. This is intense. I have no idea. And you think Rogan and Drake was harder? Does that mean you think Eloise deserves the win here? Because Drake's defense down destroys Eloise, but Eloise is so much more versatile. But is she? Because you can put an Eloise on any team and do well. And you can put a Drake on any team and still do well. Drake compliments Sword Flash. Eloise fills in the things that Sword Flash doesn't. It's just a crazy little team, but no! Say goodbye to Eloise. Say hello to Drake. Which means Drake is probably top seeded now to take this competition as we go into the semi-finals, which is Penny versus Ithaqua. Drake versus Sherlock. And whoever wins each of those fights goes down to the finals to see who is the reigning champion of the Idol Heroes People's Cup. So let's begin with the ladies round, it's Penny versus Ithaqua. Get ready, chat. One's for Penny, two's for Ithaqua. Let's see it. Wow. This is not even close. I was expecting it to be tighter. But it looks like the adage, which is assassins of the best class, is proving itself to be the case. Because people love Ithaqua way more than they love Penny. That is a little bit of a shocker. 
So there you go. Ithaqua makes it to the finals. And now we have the last before the finals. It is Sherlock versus Drake. And genuinely, I don't know which one's going to win. One for Sherlock, two for Drake. And whoever wins this has to take on Ithaqua in the finals. Now I know for PvP lineups, a lot of people do run these instead of Transcendences. Both Sherlock and Drake do find their way onto teams. Drake for the Sword Flash synergy and the Rogan synergy. And Sherlock, because he's good at sustaining and health swaps bloody annoying and dubs are good. But it seems easily Sherlock is gone and Drake says, no, 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 no. You gotta be good at more than PvP, buddy. And I don't care if you're gonna dove, because I'm gonna strip away everything you've got. And everyone's gonna kill. Which means no one could have predicted this. I honestly believe, not in a million years, you would have thought that the final of the People's Cup is Ithaqua versus Drake. Look at this for a finish, ladies and gentlemen. Where the heck is this gonna go? Two heroes, both assassins, both major, majorly important in boss fights. So which are you going for? Is it a one for Ithaqua or is it a two for Drake? You cast your vote. Here we go. I think the win, without a doubt, is gonna go to Drake. And just like that, the dark hero that no one believed in, in Anniversary 2020, no one thought he was good. All the spotlight was on Russell, but no, chat has decided, and just like that, Drake takes the competition. Congratulations, thank you to everybody who took part and we find ourselves with a champion it's drake MKX traveled. Woo! let's go bug with the ten thousand bits wild and if you want to add to the timer here at the subathon or you just want to come take part in these things at twitch please do join us twitch.tv forward slash mkx jump and you can catch all this content but until next time it's been an absolute pleasure. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Build those drakes and happy idling.